Hi guys, I'm June Bird, founder of Matalino. In this video, we're going to talk about the location of the moment center in doing area moment method. The choice of our moment center in doing area moment method greatly influenced the flow of our solution. It will become difficult or easier to do depending on where our moment center. So without further ado, let's jump into the discussion. Before we go to our discussion about the center of moment and area moment method, let us first go back to our spandal formulas. The area is equal to 1 over n plus 1 times b times h. The barred x is equal to 1 over n plus 2 times b. And the barred y is equal to n plus 1 all over 4n plus 2 of h. Again, as we discussed in the previous video, we only need two formulas here, the area and the barred x. Now, the shape of the moment diagram by part for concentrated moment load is rectangular. And the moment diagram by part for the concentrated load is triangular. And the moment diagram by part due to the uniform load is parabolic spandrel. And the moment diagram by part due to triangular load is cubic spandrel. With all this, let us now go to our discussion. From the example of our previous video, we have this cantilever beam with uniform load near N with length B. And in that video, we take the free end as our moment center. With this moment center, we need to find the reaction at support. We have the reactions MA and RA. The moment diagram due to RA alone about point B is this triangle. And the moment diagram due to MA alone about point B is this rectangle. And the moment diagram due to WO alone about point B is this parabolic spandrel. What will be the shape of our moment diagram by parts if we are going to move our moment center at point C? Again, for this moment center, we need to find the reactions first. The moment diagram due to RA about point C is this triangle. And the moment diagram due to MA about point C is this rectangle. And the moment diagram due to WO about point C is this parabolic spandrel. Now let us take point A as our moment center. The advantage of taking point A as our moment center is that we don't need to calculate the reactions because at point A, the moment effect of RA and MA is zero. Now due to uniform load alone, this is the shape of the moment diagram by part. Actually, this is wrong. Why this is wrong? In making the moment diagram by parts due to uniform load, the load must be continuous from the moment center to the end of the load. In this case, there is no load between A and C, and our uniform load is not continuous from A to B. For us to create the moment diagram properly in this case of load, we are going to extend the uniform load up to point A. Of course, this loading now is not equivalent to the original load. To counter the effect of the additional load, we are going to create another uniform load that is upward from A to C. In this case, the net load of these two uniform loads is equivalent to the given load. Now, both the upward and the downward loads are continuous from the moment center A to the end of the load. We can now draw properly the moment diagram by parts. Let us start with the downward uniform load. The moment diagram of that about point A is this parabolic spandrel which is negative because it will bend the beam downward. And the moment diagram by part due to that upward uniform load is this parabolic spandrel. And that is positive because it will cause the beam to bend upward. Let us have another example. We have this simply supported beam with moment load and concentrated load. Let us say that we are going to select the moment of application of the concentrated force as our moment center to draw the moment diagram by parts. Of course, before we can draw the moment diagram by parts, we need first to solve the reactions RA and RB. This location of moment center is actually very convenient because only three forces which are concentrated are involved in this diagram. We have this moment diagram due to reaction RA. We have this moment diagram due to reaction RB. Both reactions will tend the beam to bend upward about the moment center. So both are positive. We have this moment diagram due to force P. That force P will cause the beam to bend downward about the moment center. And that is negative moment. 
let us say that we are going to select the location of force P as our moment center. This is the moment diagram due to RA about the moment center. And this is the moment diagram due to concentrated load M about the moment center. And this is the moment diagram due to reaction RB. What will be the moment diagram by parts if the moment center we choose is the right end of the beam? This is it. We have the moment diagram due to RA. We have the moment diagram due to M. And we have the moment diagram due to P. Now let us take the left support as the center of our moment for the moment diagram by parts. We have this moment diagram due to RB. We have this moment diagram due to P. And we have this moment diagram due to M. Have you noticed that the moment diagram due to M now becomes positive? If you pan this video back to other moment centers, like the moment center at P and moment center at RB, you will notice that the moment due to M are both negative. The sign of this moment in the diagram is one of the common questions I encountered from students who took this topic for the first time. It is actually easy to see if it is positive or negative. The general rule of sign of moment is that it is positive if the force will cause the beam to bend upward. And if the force will cause the beam to bend downward, it will contribute a negative moment. This concentrated load M will cause a positive bending if we are going to fix our beam about point A. And if we are going to fix the beam at P, the moment M will bend the beam downward. And if we are going to fix the beam about RB, again this moment M will cause the beam to bend downward. So both the moments at RB and P are negative for M. But at RA, it is now positive. Can you see the difference? Let us now take another example. We have this simple beam with uniform load and uniformly varying load, or we call this simply triangular load. Let us take RB as our moment center. So we are going to fix our beam at that point, and we have now a beam that will act like a cantilever that is fixed at RB. Now the moment diagram due to RA is this triangle. And we have this moment diagram due to triangular load, which is a cubic spandrel. And in the same manner in our example number one, the moment diagram due to that uniform load is a parabolic spandrel, but we cannot draw it directly as of now because we need to extend first that uniform load up to the moment center and counter that by another uniform load which is upward. In this way, the effect of this additional load is equivalent to the original uniform load. Now for the upward uniform load, this is the moment diagram by part, about RB. And for the downward uniform load, this is the moment diagram by part. Let us say that we are going to take the zero point of triangular load as our moment center. So we have this moment diagram due to RA, and we have this moment diagram due to RB, and we have this moment diagram due to WO. For the triangular load, however, we cannot draw directly the moment diagram. For us to create a spandrel moment diagram by parts for triangular load, the triangle must start maximum at the moment center and zero at the other end. But in this case, our triangle is zero at the moment center and maximum at the other end. So we need to convert first this triangular load into a type of triangular loading that will give us a cubic spandrel. To do that, let us create uniform load and counter that by a triangular upward load that starts maximum at the moment center and zero at the other end. Now we have these two loadings that is equivalent to the original given triangular load because the effect of that upward load is this triangle above. The remaining is the original triangular load. We can now draw the moment diagram by parts of these two loadings. For the downward uniform load and for the upward triangular load. Now let us take the left support as our moment center. So we have this moment diagram due to RB and we have this moment diagram due to WO. Now to draw the moment diagram by parts due to the triangular load, things become ugly. Meaning, 
This moment center, although doable, is not actually recommended. This is an example of a poor location of a moment center. Yes, we can do it, but it's not practical because there are other points which will give us an easier diagram. To see what I mean, let us draw the moment diagram by parts due to that triangular load. Let us extend the line of the triangular load. And we are going to draw the moment diagram for this downward rectangular load. This is the moment diagram. Then, subtract the upward triangular load. This is the moment diagram. And then, subtract again this rectangular load which is also upward. This is the moment diagram. Notice that this triangle here was subtracted twice. Both are upward. But on that portion, we only need to subtract that once. Because we subtract it twice, we simply put it back by making it a downward load. So this is the moment diagram of the triangular downward load. I believe you can now manage to draw the moment diagram by parts of this simple beam with trapezoidal load. I encourage you to draw the moment diagram by parts with moment center at different points. The simplest moment diagram by parts is when you are going to put your moment center at W2. If you are going to locate the moment center at W1, it is still manageable, but the moment diagram by parts is not as good as the moment diagram by parts with moment center at W2. If you are brave enough, you can try the moment center at R2 and at R1. But it's impractical to do it because the purpose of this video is to show you how to draw the moment diagram by parts with moment center that will lead to the simplest diagram. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to our channel.